So I decided I wanted to do material science because I liked physics at school and I liked chemistry at school. And I happened to find the overlap in physics and chemistry that I really, really enjoyed. It's described by material science. I chose the Department of Materials because um, the physics which I did for my undergraduate was very um, materials focused. The reason I want to study in this department is because in here we have the world leading experts on micromechanical testing of nuclear materials. Materials make up everything that you see around you in the world. The study of materials is kind of fundamental. My specific research project focuses on using different imaging techniques in electron microscopes um, to image things that we've never seen before. We're trying to make a, a new kind of solar cell in our group and we need to understand how that system works. So what I'm doing is I'm effectively doing a load of experiments where I'm trying to extract some key parameters and then at the same time I'm building a model to make a simulation of how this system works and understand it better. I'm looking at materials for nuclear fusion reactors and how they are affected by radiation damage. Climate change is absolutely fundamental to my research. Governments are trying to find a solution for a sustainable, cheap, reliable, unlimited, clean energy supply. My research focuses on the fundamental deformation and failing mechanisms of structural materials that is used extensively in nuclear applications. To be a student at Oxford, obviously a large part of your life is the work that you do. An equally large part of your life is centred around the events that you attend, the evening lectures that are put on around the city. Every day, your inbox full of talks you can go to, there's just so much to do and you're never going to be able to do all of it. So I have to say the favourite place in Oxford is not the library but all, but the, all the pubs around it. Oxford has made me much more independent and it has also made me a much more decisive thinker. I think Oxford has given me the best opportunities to interact with the best researchers in the world. Oxford has given me the confidence to do research in a way that I didn't feel that I could before. I think Oxford has changed me into a more confident person and I think it's, it's made me the kind of person who thinks that I can do stuff. That's what the degree has taught me and it's also what Oxford has, has taught me is just to give stuff a go and to believe that I can do things.